I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Hey dreamers, so oh, I'm in here. Dying a heat stroke again. It's the story of my life here in Arkansas, huh? We have two temperatures here, boiling and freezing. There is no in between. It is not California weather, <laughs> but I can't afford California weather. So what I am doing here, I thought I'd bring you along. I have two cabinets that I just bought from a friend. This, um, these were 15 bucks a piece. So I got that one. And I got this one. They don't have drawers, but they're set up for drawers, so I could build drawers for them later. I have the face plate for that. Um, and I'm trying to make them fit in here. Uh, I was originally supposed to have a corner unit um, in that back corner. And what I'm thinking, I also have this cabinet, which I have the drawer for over here. But I have that cabinet and I'm thinking I could just tuck that one into the corner facing it this way, take the door off and then I could cut a little cubby in this one and put it facing out this way and make my own corner unit, right? Because um, where there's a will, there's a way. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. It requires moving the refrigerator over a couple of inches, which is kind of a pain because I just put it there and now it's full, but I might be able to get it moved over a couple of inches just by scooting it. So yeah, so here, come on, come along for the ride and watch me dump my refrigerator on the floor. Uh, let's get you set up here. Why is this not working? There we go. Constantly playing shuffle the junk around. Okay. Let me see how many inches I need that to go over. Four inches. So maybe pass the plug. Oh, hey. ah. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <sighs> this is how you mess up your back. <sighs> no. Oh, there it goes. So when you guys see me in a wheelchair later, that's the reason why. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go over a little more. Oh, Capone's coming to visit y'all. Dilly, oh. See if that moved it enough. That's 26 inches. That should be enough. So I love you guys up here. If you saw what I'm using as a dolly, I mean as a tripod you'll laugh you guys are sitting up on the furniture dolly hopefully Capone can't climb it okay now I need to take these guys off
this cabinet here was a free one. There's always gotta be one that's stripped out, right? gonna use this cabinet in the shop but I think it'll work as a corner cabinet like that oh this kitten He found a napping spot on top of my energy drinks. Oh, nap's over. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. I still have to level all these and, you know, make them perfect. But if I cut out out of this wall, then I could access that stuff back there and I'll just put back in there this stuff I hardly ever use. So, I think that's gonna work. And that gives me the L shape that I wanted down there. Uh, Cause I wanted a spot to take stuff out of the refrigerator and set it on the counter right here. And then I wanted a landing spot next to the stove. The stove's gonna go right here. And one of these little cabinets is gonna go on the other side of it. And that'll give me a landing spot there. And maybe I have to give up my dream of a pantry. We'll have to we'll have to see how things play out. I could always put a tall pantry on that wall. But for now this will have to work because this is what my funds allow. So let me show you what I got. These I got in Washington and brought those with me. I think I paid $10 a piece for those and they're solid oak wood uh, drawers. This whole sink setup, ignore the dirty dishes, <laughs> but this whole sink setup uh, with a little tiny bar sink in it was $50. These cabinets were $15 a piece. That one back in there was free. And then today, I went up to our little local thrift store looking for, they always have um, plumbing parts really cheap. And so I just bought out everything that they had in one and a half and two inch plumbing pipe stuff. And they happen to have a couple cabinets up there. So this one is like a tall uh, spice cabinet. And it has some damage on the side of it. It's press board sides. It's got some uh, water damage on the side of it. So they gave me that one for free. This one underneath the drawer. Um, back in here, this is supposed to go over like a stove or whatever. I don't know if it's going to work for mine. Because my stove's only 30 inches. I think that's bigger. But if not, I can use it in the shop. And then I got this big one that's gonna hold on my dishes. I haven't measured it yet, but it's gonna go probably back on this wall or this wall. And uh, those cabinets were $10 a piece. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 90, 100 and $120 for all the cabinets I have so far. I am gonna need a little cabinet for, um, the stove's gonna go here and I have a microwave range hood that goes above it. And then I need some kind of cabinetry up there to hide the exhaust and the plug and stuff. So, uh, but the stove and the microwave are still in storage and I uh, haven't got those out yet. So, <sighs> slowly coming together. Let me see. Uh, what else I could do to my back today? 
But right now I'm still waiting for these lights that go in these holes to show up. They're supposed to be here Tuesday. And then I guess I'm going to be buying a can of paint to uh, paint these cabinets. Uh, Southern Blessed Homestead also has upper cabinets for me. So somehow I have to gather some money together and go out to their place for a day and uh, you know, drag my little trailer with me or something and go pick up the, the upper cabinets that they have there. Maybe I could fit them all in my car and not have to uh, <laughs> to drag the trailer with me. All right. I am going to uh, get back to work here. I'm babbling. So yeah, kitchen is coming together. I was really stressing over getting cabinets and God provides all the time. Uh, they just came to together, boom, boom, boom. So uh, in fact, I might have extras for the bottom because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, with the, this other drawer. I could attach it to my center, um, you know, my island. And I need to do a new top for that island anyhow, so that has an uh, island that's countertop that sticks out, you know, so I could put my um, my bar stools up there. But so maybe I'll just make it a little bit longer uh, island and uh, instead of three foot, it'll be four foot long. And yeah, that could work. It's all slowly coming together. It wasn't what I had dreamed in my head, but I can make it look real close to what I had dreamed in my head. And I have to keep reminding myself I'm on a beer budget. So uh, I'm not even on a beer budget. It's more like a water budget. So uh, this is, I'm really excited about how this is coming together so far. All right, stay tuned. Good morning, dreamers. So yesterday was Sunday. I don't know the date. It's like the first week of August. And I had a couple goals yesterday. I went to weed eat the front yard so that I could put the uh, AC unit in the window. I went to change around my refrigerator doors because they open the wrong way uh, for over here. And I went to level this cabinet. So let me show you what happened yesterday. <laughs> I had all these lofty goals. I was going to go underneath the house and hook up the drain line for the sink and all that. And let me show you. So the weeds out here, I know it's a mess out here. These are boxes that I'm going to use in my garden and yeah. But the weeds out here were almost taller than me. And I needed to get to, hang on, I'm, I'm watching the ground while I walk now, and I'll show you why in just a second. But I needed to get to this window so I could hook up the um, AC unit. And while I was weed whacking, I ran into this guy. Can you see him? <laughs> I could hardly see him. He's dead now, but he is, he's in about four different pieces, but he was right underneath. I mean, right in front of the skirting where I'd be uh, hooking up the AC unit. So number one, I'm glad I finally got out here to weed whack. It's been so hot or raining constantly that uh, I just didn't get a chance to get out here and get it done. And now I'm really glad that I did. I will not be letting the weeds grow that tall around the house ever again. That's the first snake that I have seen out here. Well, I've seen a black snake, but you know, I'll keep them, thank you. But uh, I haven't seen a copperhead on the land here since I moved here. So that was a huge wake up call for me. It's, uh, you know, I really need to keep the weeds down low uh, and especially on the lot here where my house is. I don't want them near my house. So now <laughs> I get to go underneath the house and I'm wondering how many other 
uh, snakes are under there. But this is what I got so far. I am going to try to level just this cabinet for now. Um, and see if I can't cut out. I've never cut out a sink before. I've um, seen it done many times, but I've never done it myself. And this is the sink that's gonna go in there. So I figured I'd practice on this countertop since I'm not keeping it. I don't know if you guys can see how warped it is, but it's there's like a big bubble over here where water got underneath. And then there's a big bubble right here. So yeah, it's all discombobulated. But And I plan on doing other countertops in here, but I figure I'll practice on this countertop for now. And if I mess it up, then I'll just be doing my other counters sooner than later. But, uh, so the goal today is try and get this cabinet leveled and at least uh, cut out the hole for the sink and set it in here. I don't know if I'll get the drain hooked up today because I'm still kind of creeped out about that snake so close to the house. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go underneath the house today. <laughs> Maybe like I'll wait until winter. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Anyhow, I, I got to get the water and the the drain lines hooked up. But yeah, gosh, I don't like snakes. So I'm going to hook up the, I mean, uh, level this cabinet and get it attached to the walls like a drill for the drain line, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how far I get. And then I'd still like to uh, switch the refrigerator doors around. So let's see what I get done. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock this leveled that's the good news the bad news is I'm not going to be able to perfectly center my sink underneath the window because this cabinet oh maybe if I switch these two hold up okay I got it so this cabinet's 24 inches wide that one's 21 inches wide 
So if I flip flop these two, I can move this base cabinet over that way more, which means expanding the hole for the water pipe. But then I can center my sink perfectly underneath the window. It doesn't matter where the cabinet part is so much as I just wanted the sink underneath the window. But it looks like that's gonna work. So maybe I can use my original cabinet marks, which are way over here on the wall. Ignore this. Uh, this is all gonna get taken out and replaced. I'll tell you what happened here. So I had a box in here uh, that held the outlets that was a bit lame and it was wiggly. So I didn't like it. So I tried to remove it and put in a, a old work box and then it tore out some of the sheetrock around it and even the new box is wobbly. So I ordered another box, $4 fix, and that should be coming today. I'm gonna tear out all this, put in the new box, and I'm gonna actually re-sheetrock this uh, whole part so that there's no more wonkiness. That's probably an outlet that's gonna be used a lot <laughs> and it would bother me if it was like all wonky like that. So even the original one, it was like all messed up. I was trying to use a box that I had installed on a different wall or somewhere else before and, you know, like reuse it and it didn't work. So, uh, let me get these switched around. I'll put you guys back on time lapse. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free Be free. 